And so they have used the houses of God for these things for so long. It has to stop. And for those who don't want to stop, God will stop you. Just watch. Why well, Pastor Chris wants it. Oh, you belong to this church and that your father's major one. But the people are watching to see how far the relationship will go. There was one pastor who texted me and said, uh, my father, I want to tell you that uh, God has told me to leave ECG and start my own. I said, I kiss you. <laughs> you see, there are people who would like to use your systems to be popular, to be known. When they advertise and they become famous and they say God has said they should start their own thing. Why, why, were they, why didn't God tell them in the beginning? To the word of God. Once they are done with singing in your church, they jump to the next church. And when I say things like this, the next thing is, if they don't like it, they go and start a church. Because they, they're not used to sitting to listen to the word of God. These are not soul winners. Because it's all about money at the end of the day. Money and fame. That's what they seek. Money. You see, there are people who would like to use your systems to be popular, to be known. When they advertise and they become famous and they say God has said they should start their own thing. Why, why, were they, why didn't God tell them in the beginning? I said you and whosoever shall follow you. I said you are cursed. I said if I be a prophet, if a case will not follow you today, I, I resign ministry. You see, if, if you are being released in ministry, come, it must involve me. It must involve, if God has said it, it must involve me. I should release you in peace. I should say, oh, yeah, God has said, I should release my son. That son is supposed to come to me. And I should say, oh, yeah, 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 God has said it. And I'm releasing you. Not where people want to, to use your systems to become popular. And when they now know they say, God has said I should leave, I said, I curse you. I said, whosoever shall follow you, I curse. He said, ah, Papa, ah, what do you mean? I said, you are cursed. All my leaders can't be working day and night just for you one day to bring your own system that is against what God said. I said, if God told me, I said, if God told me, I would have told you myself. Which God now? Now, listen to this, and I want you to hear this. This is very important. Very important. I want you to get this in your mind. Because somebody's contract, first thing in the morning, will be signed. And controversial prophet Shepherd Bashiri has been arrested uh, for alleged fraud and money laundering. He is actually not at rest until ECG is closed. Bashiri must go home. In this country, they don't want him. That the police, especially the hawks, even the prosecution, they said, don't give this man the pay. The Bushiri matter has been uh, very concerning to all of us. It should never have happened the way it did. The good news is, I have managed to secure 500 million for the construction, for the construction of the church. The bad news is that money, 500 million, is still in your pocket. And that guy, they said that guy, he began to do something like this, and money started coming. They haven't seen anything yet. You are. A That's it, just for all of you that still call Chris Oyakilome a man of God. He sounds like Bushiri, he talks like Bushiri, he reacted like Bushiri, he does everything like Bushiri and Ubat Angel. If you say Ubat Angel is fake and you say Chris is a man of God, so you don't know what you are doing. If you say Bushiri is fake and you say Chris Ayakilome is a man of God, you're joking, you're deceiving yourself. Anita that left him, that dumped him, knows that she made a mistake. She has married to Satan and she ran away for her life. So, Chris Ayakilome is a froster. Is any evil you can think of on, in, in this world? He's a manipulator, he's a tyrant, he's a liar. If something is not go his way, he will manipulate it, he will condemn it. See, the world now is waging against the artist. The gospel artist and they're giving it back and they're just dragging himself on the floor 
because it's thank you my people i see you in my next video bye for now by the way he said jesus is coming in 2029 so 2029 is just around the corner we shall see bye